Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Inside of today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the best brawler in every single rarity. So this will help you, of course, with unlocking brawlers and just in general. This is a video that I used to always do. Just a pretty fun one just before we wait for the brawl talk, of course. And again, I'll be doing an unlock guide as soon as all the rarities change as well to really help you guys focus on where to really go in the star road so before we jump into things of course make sure you're using a credit code that'd be greatly appreciated and without further ado let's hop into it all right guys so jumping into the first rarity which is going to be the rare rarity as well as of course the start ruler the best ruler in this rarity has to be rosa for me so fortunately enough i'm not facing off against the charlie which you guys know charlie's just the most broken brawler like of all time and just shuts down rosa ridiculous amounts so if i were you if you're looking to play rosa probably stay away from brawl because there's just charlie everywhere so i would say probably rosa's better in like hot zone especially with the bushes gadget that is just such like one of the best strategies i would say in the game right now it's just so so strong uh, especially if the enemy doesn't have any type of wall break or a way to remove the grass it's like impossible for them to deal with a rosa so we do have a hypercharged super now i'm just gonna pop it and just try and cycle as much as possible. We should be able to get the goal in here, maybe. Okay, no, I completely missed that. Also, I switched star power because there's a lot of tough matchups in Bruble. Uh, I'm trying to say how strong Rosa is, but when it comes down to ladder, there's just so much like Lou, Maisie, Charlie. It's actually hard to do anything in Bruble. So I switched to star power just so I can get a little bit of healing. But I think Rosa, especially in the right matchup, can absolutely dominate. And if you don't think about Rosa when you're playing Power League within the draft, the enemies will probably last pick it and just run through you so easily. So for me, she's just so insane, especially on Hot Zone and Gem Grab. You can't ignore her. One of the best brawlers in the game. Let's hop into the next rarity. All right, guys, jumping into the next rarity. Of course, we have the super rare rarity. The best brawler, I think, by far in this rarity has to be 8-bit. So... I think looking at this rarity, I was actually quite surprised that there's hardly any strong brawlers. You know, we've got the likes of Jesse, Jackie, who are pretty decent with the hypercharge. But when it comes down to it, I think it was the easiest choice out of all the rarities. You know, 8-Bit has just been storming the meta right now. He's so strong in so many different game modes. And again, it's because of this boosted booster star power. Don't let anyone tell you different that this star power is actually one of the best star powers in the game. The fact that it just deals so much damage, it doesn't even matter. Like, you don't even have to pair it with your teammates. Just the pure damage that it gives 8-Bit is just absolutely insane and it just can't be ignored you know maybe i'm expecting a nerf to this star power because it definitely is a little bit too strong and he kind of always was under the radar like i remember him receiving a hp buff like a few balance changes ago because i guess he just wasn't being picked at all and then ever since then he's just been played literally everywhere so again i could just absolutely just shred through everything i've got this gadget as well that can just teleport me back to the turret if needed I should be able to stay alive here. I'm just going to save a couple of pieces of ammo in case the mortis comes closer. The good thing is about Booster Booster is that it doesn't actually reveal my position. Like, we're plugged in. They know where you are. Like, it actually just gives away your positioning, which, of course, isn't the best. Whilst Booster Booster, you're free just to kind of go around. I know you're a lot slower, but at the same time, it just takes one good piece of uh, ammo and you just shred through these guys. So, again, mortis is going to go down here pretty easily. Even though Jesse's a quite big counter. You know, 8-bit can pretty much deal with us. So, again, in terms of this rarity, there's only really, literally... I don't even think so. I don't even think there's another brawler that can even come close, whilst the other rarities actually have some really strong rules in it. So, nice and simple game. You know, Mortis was being a little bit annoying, but for the most part, I'd say it was pretty easy. And just look at that one clip, and Mortis is just dead. 8-bit is just absolutely insane right now. Definitely the best brawler in this rarity. Let's hop into the next one. Alright guys, jumping into the best epic brawler in the game right now. I went with Nanny, so this is actually a pretty tough choice because you got other really good brawlers within this rarity. you got Stu, you've got the likes of Piper as well, but I think Nanny just edges it for me just sort of pure damage that you can put out with this brawler. It's just insane. I'll be very, very surprised if Nanny didn't get some type of nerf in the next update. Like, of course, it's nice for Nanny to deal a lot of damage, but I think it's just too much right now just too much damage oh, i didn't even mean to hit the clip there i kind of wanted just to kind of tank all of that uh, damage she was putting out there but yeah nanny just usable everywhere like one of the best brawlers in heist right now with the tp gadgets of course one of the best brawlers in wipeout bounty and in knockout and the thing is you just can't ignore a nanny because they'll just one tap two tap you with ease a lot of the time and there's also like a nanny trick which i really want to teach you guys the tech on it which I was made aware of, which somehow I didn't know, considering I'm such, like, Nanny's been one of my main brawlers for the longest times, but 
There is a way where you can basically make sure you hit enough every single shot with the nanny. And it's actually making sure you overshoot the shot. Like a lot of the times you can just hit brawlers by overshooting, which is just absolutely insane. So we can just pull the damage in here. Oh, some spiders coming our way. It's like my teammate with Chuck is still somehow surviving, which is just absolutely insane. Another spider's gadget, which is going to be a little bit annoying, but... Our teammates can just follow up with the damage here. I'm just being really annoying in this pocket. And that's the one thing I love about Nanny specifically in Heist. You can waste so much time with the TP gadgets. I've actually gone with four gadgets because it's just so essential to give us that little bit of extra leeway. So I just need one shot to my super here. I'm going to use it and finish off the game. Hopefully I can beat my teammates to it. I'm just going to teleport right on the safe and finish it off. So yeah, Nanny... Absolutely insane. Of course, you've got other really strong epic brawlers as well in Edgar and Hank. I can't believe I forgot about those brawlers, but they're absolutely insane as well. But Nani, I think, just edges it a little bit. But that's going to be the best brawler in this rarity. Let's hop into the next one. All right, guys, jumping into the best mythic brawler in the game right now. I think there should be no surprises here as well. For me, it has to be Grey. So Grey has some huge pop-off potential, and the cheese strategies are just endless when it comes down to him. So, of course, there's two main game modes I'm talking about. Like, of course, he's pretty decent in Bounty and Knockout, but the two main ones have to be Hot Zone and Gem Grab right now. They're, that's where I'm seeing the most cheesiest strategies with his Teleport. It's just absolutely insane. So if you're unaware, this happened, of course, a lot in the World Finals. We've seen, like, a Grey as a gem carrier. And all you needed to do is just one decent teleport towards their mid. And what you can do, pair it with a tank or just, I don't know, say, like, with a Tara with their super, Nita with their super. There's just so much cheese strategies that what you need is just one, one turnaround. You need one, like, you could be getting killed the entire game. And then you just need that one play with a Grey teleport and you can win the game it's just way too strong to teleport. I don't even know how you nerf it because, like, it is pretty skillful. Gray's one of the hardest brawlers to play, in my opinion, just because of how hard his main attack is to hit. And also, his gadget is pretty hard to hit. But, of course, he also has one of the strongest gadgets in the game. So, thankfully, we just walk through those guys. In terms of other mythic brawlers as well, you've got Tara and Squeak, which are pretty good as well. I think Gray is just that level above them. Of course, you have Doug, who's just at the top. But I don't want to reveal that strategy. Doug is just way too strong. But, anyways... Going into the next legend, uh, going into the next rarity, which is going to be legend. All right, guys, going into the next legend, well, the next rarity. It is a legend rarity, a legendary rarity. God, I've got my English right now. Of course, the best brawler is going to be Sandy. So I thought it's actually a tough choice because you have got a really strong brawler in Spike at the moment. But I think Sandy is just that cut above right now, mainly because it's just so easy to cycle super. And, you know, Sandy's always this fine line between being one of the worst brawlers in the game and also one of the best. And, like, the second you kind of touch his supercharge rate and make it, like, towards a 6 or even 5 that has been in the past, Sandy just becomes one of the best brawlers in the game because it just literally is one of the best supers of all time. Giving you and your teammates invisibility, it's just way too much. Of course, you've got one of the best gadgets in the game with the stun as well. And also with the... Um, thanks to hypercharge it's actually made sandy better because he can cycle his super a lot better he can also stun them to uh of course give himself a little bit of a breathing space that is like one of the best counters to uh to hypercharge right now just by stunning them slowing them all of that good stuff so of course there are other good legendary brawlers right now you know the likes of spike um crow's not really at the top anymore meg's pretty decent but i think for me it is just pretty evident that Sandy has to be the best legendary. He's like a top five brawler in the game right now. So definitely put your credits uh, into him right now because I don't feel like he's going to receive a nerf either because he's not like too toxic right now, even though he's so strong. So yeah, best in the legendary rarity. Let's hop into chromatic now. All right, guys, jumping into the final rarity. We have the chromatic rarity with Charlie. So I think it's no surprise here because Charlie's literally like the best brawler in the game. But yeah, she's making me want to rage quit this video right now because I'm trying to just get a game with Charlie and I'm just facing enemy Charlie as well and it's just the most painful, miserable experience. I think in Brawl Stars history. Like, I'm not even over-exaggerating. She's just such a toxic brawler to face against. It's making me rage. But, of course, she's the best chromatic in the game by a mile. Uh, the other good chromatics, so though, there's likes of Cordelius, Buster, Lou, off the top of my head. Like, these are really strong chromatics. But if you're looking for the best one, just go Charlie because... Of course, you can just brainlessly play. Like, m most of the people I face off against who that play Charlie just are not good because all you need to do is just spam auto aim. Like, just look at this. Like, I'm just spamming auto aim. She just isn't a skillful brawler whatsoever. Like, honestly, one of the most skillless brawlers I think that's ever been released. 
Okay, that's enough waffling for now. But you guys understand, right? I think I think the thing that really cheeses me is just the green button and the the auto aim. Like you can auto aim the main attack and the super and hit every single time. Like to have that mechanic and of course just spam relentlessly. It's just way too much. Thankfully, my teammate is going Lou and another just broken brawler, but at least for Lou, it takes effort to build up that super. But with Charlie, it doesn't. We just <laughs> lol, we just randomly put that into the bush again we're going to use another gadget right here to give us a little bit of breathing space and thankfully yeah, i've been trying to win in a team with charlie and i couldn't for the longest time I, I thought we were just about to win right there but again it's just it, i'm facing charlie every single game so it's just painful if there was no charlie on the enemy team i'll just be walking through these guys but just look at this like they can just put me in a cocoon for the longest time and even when i exit out of cocoon i'm just dead like, I've never known a super to mean an automatic kill every single time. No matter the scenario, it's just a kill. But yeah, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoy it. I'm getting off Ruble. I'm playing Power League and I'm banning Charlie every single time because she's seriously way too strong. But that's going to be it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.